The teller tendon rupture, a question of 35-year-old male, slips on a patch of ice and falls on a hyperflex knee. He reports hearing a pop during the fall, and he's unable to bear weight after the injury. He has a large effusion, and the radiographs show that he has significant elevation of his, of his patella or a patellar tendon rupture. And the question is, which exercises could, could be done earliest? And those would be heel slides, a closed chain um, active flexion of the knee. Certainly the others described put a significant force on the um, extensor mechanism and would be unindicated following repair. For patellar tendon rupture, its instance is half percent of the US, U.S. population per year. It's most commonly in the third or fourth decade. The quadriceps tendon rupture occurs, occurs more commonly than the patellar tendon rupture. It is often seen with chronic renal disease or diabetes mellitus. It's important to know that it's usually not just an isolated event. There has usually been some patellar tendon degeneration prior to the event leading to the rupture. And the patient may have had corticosteroid injections in the area previously. The greatest forces are when the knee is bent greater than 60 degrees. That puts increased force on the patellar tendon. There are three patterns of injury. Avulsion with or without bone from the inferior pole of the patella, patella is the most common. It can also rupture mid-substance, and that you can have a distal avulsion. Due Again, to the small number the of remaining conferees, this conference will be broken down in five minutes. Enter star one to cancel and continue the conference. It's also important to know that the blood supply comes from the infratelar fat pad and from the retinacular structures so via the medial and lateral inferior geniculate arteries. So a sudden quadriceps contraction when the knee in a flex position, such as jumping sports and missing the step on a, st on a stairs, will, can incite the injury, leading to significant pain and difficult with weight difficult weight bearing afterwards. So on examination you want to evaluate the patellar height. You may feel a palpable gap below the inferior pole of the patella and the patient is most likely unable to perform an active straight leg raise. Due to the small number of remaining conferees, this conference views, will be broken down in four minutes. Elevated, Enter star one to cancel and continue the conference. Rupture and an increase in the insole and Savati ratio. Indications for MRI will differenti differentiate a partial from a complete tendon rupture if you are if you are not sure by examination. It is certainly the most sensitive imaging modality, but often the diagnosis can be made by plain radiographs and physical examination. Non-operative management includes immobilization and full extension with a progressive weight-bearing exercise program. This is for partial tears with an intact extensor mechanism. The patient can do a straight leg raise. And then early range of motion can be started as described previously with, with the Closed chain hill slide. Due to the small number of remaining conferees, this conference Another will be broken down in minutes. Year old Enter star one to cancel and continue the conference. Pop in his knee and then has he is unable to extend his knee. A later lateral radiograph shows this inferior pole fracture of the patella, and the appropriate treatment is a primary surgical repair, um, as this is essentially a patellar tendon rupture with a small fleck of bone. So primary repair with complete tendon patellar tendon ruptures and the ability to approximate the tendon at the site of disruption. The tendon re reconstruction is for severely disrupted or degenerative patellar tendons. If necessary to do a reconstruction, you can use a semitendinosus or a gracilis tendon autograph. Due to the small number of remaining conferees, the conference will be broken down in two minutes. Enter star one to cancel and continue the conference.
Again, one of the important articles recently suggested that passive extension and active closed chain flexion heel slides can be used early after repair. Also, you can do prone open chain knee flexion. So the, if doing a direct primary repair, the rupture is exposed longitudinally and you can then also look at the adjacent retinaculum which is torn as well and the tendon is repaired at the site of rupture as well as repairing the retinacular tears. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.